assalamu alaikum welcome to another session before starting today's session i have a little announcement to make we started another channel named learn automation with noman where we will post the lectures in urdu or you can say in hindi so let's start today's session in english for those who want to learn in hindi or urdu they have another choice so in today's class we are going to program a function block for motor and in order to do that first it's very important to understand the plc wiring how we are actually using plc channels to program here before starting the program it's very very important for us to understand what are our inputs and outputs i always talk about these things as it's very important to list on inputs and outputs before making any design so let's start talking about that what are our inputs we have motor start we have motor stop and we have motor running in forward and motor running in reverse direction so we have two start buttons actually one for forward direction one for the reverse direction and then we have input coming in that is our our load relay as you can see so that's how we are actually connected to it forward is connected to i0.0 that is first channel in the io card digital io card digital input card sorry and then i0.1 on the second and i0.2 on the third and our load relay is connected to now comes to us the outputs what we have here we have two outputs forward and reverse and for sure if we want to have an output definitely we need to have a digital output card and in digital output card we are choosing two channels actually one and two one for the forward you can see here q0.0 and then q0.1 is for the second channel in the digital output card so then definitely in the field we need to have push buttons also that now is the time to program the arbitrary project so first thing first we have to add the function block set up the language for that let the language is there and then after that open up function block okay once we have uh, that block open up then we have to define inputs and what are our inputs our inputs are our load our load that's our load relay and then we have stop we have reverse start reverse we have start fwd that's for forward and what else we have i think we have almost all inputs and then we have at the output for two of our outputs forward that will be fwd and reverse rev okay so these are two of our outputs let's start to write the program so simple go here take our load in normally open condition we have taken our load why we are taking normally open because we have our load relay in the field in normally closed you can see then stop is also same in case we have stop switch also in the same like nc in the field so we are making sure like our load and stop should not be there in order to run the motor in forward so this network is to make sure that it's forward we can put the command here forward and then after that what we will do like we will make sure like our load is not there stop and then we have start button start forward press 
list and then we have TOs that's forward WD. In that can in that, in that case we can run that motor in forward condition okay fine now is the time to define the network for the reverse okay reverse for reverse what we will do we will do the same thing we will see our load just to check into logs we can see stop also and then we can see start command start start button is in normally open condition in the field so start reverse okay and then we have no then we have output q0 uh, no q0 okay. then we have output that is reverse okay fine now we have one issue in that particular program you can see like or if you can run the motor in forward and the reverse at the same time right because if somebody press start forward and reverse at the same time motor will start running forward and reverse at the same time and what it is going to cause it is going to burn the motor in order to avoid that what we will do we will make sure when we are running the motor in the forward direction it should check itself in the program like it is not running in the reverse how we can check then we can check it in a way like if we take we, we we just monitor that reverse like if reverse that reverse is not come in the motor is not running in the reverse that time it should go for the forward and the same as the case applies here for running the motor in reverse in reverse you will check forward like if in the case of our motor is not running in the forward direction that can go for reverse direction fine so we have defined this particular program and now is the time to save that yes it's saved close you can close it and go to the ob1 to the FP select you can see your FP is ready and you know for each FP you need to create the DB so yeah here we go DB2 for example we have created for that so we have created in DB for that particular function block so this motor block is almost ready so from now on if you see big motor blocks don't confuse yourself and it's just simple thing so we have to find inputs and outputs start forward i0.0 start reverse i0.1 stop i0.2 forward i0.3 and forward q0.0 output these are outputs these sides for outputs forward q0.0 reverse q0.1 so this program is almost ready for the testing so we will just download it and make sure like when you are downloading the program you have to connect three so select three and then after that yes all yes so you have downloaded the program now you can open up OP and now in the case you turn on the watch go to the simulator run it from here you will see them when you now make sure like our, our load and stop button are here and these should be always one they should be always one coming in because these are in normally closed conditions right so what we will do we'll just select i0.2 and 3 our supply because these are in normally closed condi uh, configuration of the field okay so now after that if we press start button start forward so you can see forward that a motor is running in the forward direction and if we press start reverse 
we have to remove that so if we press i uh, start reverse motor is running in reverse direction but when motor is running in reverse direction if you try to press in a forward direction you try to run in the forward direction it is not going to run because we have defined the interlock so it's going to continue running in reverse let's see if i press i0.0 .0, that's for forward running you can see motor is still running in a reverse direction it's not caring about that command to run in a forward direction that's how you define fp blocks that's how you program fp and it, you know it's very simple as per now you're understanding it very well so hopefully in next session we were going to talk about more advanced topics so a lot of things are coming up in next session so all you have to do is just subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and comment down there if you have any question comment section in the full diaries put your comments and i will try to get back to you thank you very much for watching my video take care have a nice day Sit down. Mm -hmm.